So uh, I've also got a new another beef uh, to post here today, and uh, every election season it seems like um, people from generally the conservative or the Republican camp like to make the metaphor that the government spending like a family budget shouldn't go into debt, debt that it cannot repay. And uh, I do think that's true, that families should not go into debt that they can't repay. It does happen all the time, sometimes uh, no, uh, no complete act of the person that's going into debt. But let's, let's just go with the standard setting that you have a family and somehow the family uh, is going into debt beyond their means. That's wrong. People shouldn't do that. It causes trouble for themselves and for other people. But I think what's left out of that metaphor is suppose you've got uh, a bunch of independent people and they're not a family yet. And uh, out of these independent people, some of them get married. All right. So let's take spouse A and spouse B. They're starting to form a household and uh, both of them have an income and things are going pretty good. Uh, and they, they buy things for themselves. They buy things for each other. Uh, time goes on. Uh, they have uh, a little bit of savings aside and eventually they start to make babies. Now there's other needs, you know, suspending so changes and uh, and you're taking care of the kids and so forth. And now suppose that one of the spouses had started to decide that the other spouse uh, should do things with their time that would reduce their income. That it's, it's more important to uh, spend time with the children instead of earning the money. Right. And it could be the, the you know, either, either spouse. It doesn't have to be the one that was earning more money to begin with. It just has to be one of them. And uh, one of them has to take a position that I and my my money that's coming in is more important to keep doing that. And you and the money that you have coming in is less important. So you need to do less of that. OK. So one spouse is deciding that the other spouse's income should go down, right? And at the same time, uh, because there's less money, you, you have less to spend on the children and other things that you used to. So now the earning spouse complains that the non-earning spouse is spending badly, but in reality, they're just spending what they did before the reduced income happened. Now we're going into deficit spending. And whose fault is it? The one that said, no, you have to stay at home. So the idea of the debt spending problem is also related to the idea that you're not allowed to earn more money, right? So from the same camp that says the government can't tax rich people, that taxing is bad, is also saying deficit spending is bad. But you're, you had things that you were doing for the good of the family that you were spending the money on. So if you, of course, you're going to have deficit spending if you can't have taxation. It's, it, they just go hand in hand. So these Grover Norquist crazy people that think that the government should be oh so tiny and not do anything uh, because it's deficit spending after they choked it out. I, I think they're, they're just idiots. I, I don't think they're malicious. Well, some of them might be maliciously thinking that they're doing the right thing or not, but not that they're doing the right thing, but they're trying to kill the government. But I think most people are idiots when they think that a government and a household are the same thing and that deficit spending in the government is the same thing as taking on too much debt in your household. So stop cutting off the ability to tax, especially tax rich people, and maybe we won't have so much deficit problem.